part two of my summer essentials. Last week I talked all about the colored cosmetics I was liking for summer, some body care favorites, and at the end I tossed in a couple food items. Today I'm switching gears and I'm gonna be talking about sun care, bronzers, and a couple sunless tanners. And I wanna start with sun care because of course that is the most important. And the first two things I have to share are two facial sunscreens. First, I have the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And the other one is the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, and this is also Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I've been switching between the both of them, and it really just depends on how my skin is feeling. If my skin is more dry, that will affect my decision, and then what foundation I plan on wearing that day. These both work better with certain foundations. So they both have some things in common. They are both mineral sunscreens, and I have found that for myself, I much prefer a mineral as opposed to a chemical sunscreen. I was using a chemical one and every time I brought it up into this area, it would sting. So my sensitive skin prefers the mineral. I can take it and protect this under eye area and I experience no irritation. So the active ingredient in both of these is zinc oxide. The Paula's Choice has 13% and the Suntegrity is 20%. Another thing they have in common is that they are both a little bit more than just sun protection. Both companies put some antioxidants into their formulas. So you're getting that protection from the sun, but you're also getting some added skincare benefits, which is fantastic. And then probably my favorite thing that they both have in common is that they are tinted. There is nothing worse than a really thick mineral sunscreen and you have to wait forever for it to sink in and then you still get that white cast. So the tints, while they're not coverage, they won't cover any kind of blemish, that tint helps to counteract the white cast, which is amazing. And if I'm having a really nice skin day and I don't feel like wearing foundation, both of these look beautiful on the skin and they both look really nice. If I choose to wear a foundation, they almost work as a primer. So you're getting that sun protection and then they play nicely underneath the makeup. Now into the differences. The Paula's Choice is a very thin, lightweight formula. It sinks in immediately and it is intensely mattifying, almost amazingly so. If I use this and then use the Hourglass Foundation, the liquid to powder one, that combination gives me matte skin for hours. And it's just a beautiful, very matte look. I will say that my mom bought this and couldn't get it to work for her. She thought it was just too dry and just accentuated some of her dry patches. So I would really only recommend this for people with oily skin. And the sun Integrity is a much thicker formula. It doesn't sink in quite as quickly. It will eventually, it just takes a little bit longer and it's very moisturizing. It has a lot of great ingredients like aloe vera and jojoba seed oil. So you're getting a ton of moisture with this sunscreen. So I love both of them and I would really recommend them just depending on your skin type. So oily skin for the resist and then dry skin for the sun integrity. When I started taking more walks outside, I wanted to get a really easy to apply, convenient body sunscreen so I didn't make any excuses for not applying it. And the one I found is from Kula and this is their SPF 30 Sport Citrus Mimosa Sunscreen Spray. And it does smell like your traditional sunscreen with some citrus mixed in, so it is very pleasant and it smells like summer to me but the best thing about it is how easy it is to apply. I just shake it really well and then it is a very fine mist. So I will spray it and then just quickly rub it in. So this has been amazing and I have not gotten a sunburn since I've been using it. So really impressed with that. And then a couple weeks ago, my friends and I were having dinner and we had an impromptu what's in my bag where we all pulled out the lip products we were carrying. And my friend Karen had a Kula lip balm. So the next time I was at Ulta, I looked at them and I decided to buy the Peppermint Plus Vanilla. So this is SPF 15. It smells so good and I find it incredibly moisturizing. And when I was little, my dad just always told us how important it was to put sunscreen on your lips. So both of these Kula products I've been really impressed with and I use them just on my walks, but I think if you were going to the beach or lake, both of these would be great sunscreens to keep in your bag. Moving into sunless tanners, one product has completely stolen the show for me, and that is the Chocolate Sun Nature's Healthy Tan Cocoa Glow. And I talked about this in my last month's favorites video, but it is by far the best sunless tanner I've ever used. The smell is so nice and it really does look incredibly natural. I am not getting a deep dark color from this. It's just enough to give me a little glow, which is really nice when you're in the summer and you're wearing dresses and shorts just to have a little bit of color on your arms and legs. So I liked this so much that I ended up buying the facial version and technically you can, the directions say you can put this on your face. I am so acne prone that that scared me a little bit, 
this is a lotion like consistency and the one that's for your face is much lighter and more gel like so when this came in the mail and I was applying it for the first time I was a little bit nervous because it's not like messing up on your knee or something that you can cover when you mess up on your face it's kind of just there so I took my time and the thing that made the most sense about the directions was to apply it like you would apply a foundation with your fingertips so I put a little bit between my fingers and then use some upward circular motions and instead of really blending it in, I just applied it and then let it sink in on its own. And that helps to activate it and be a little bit more even. And then I took a, you know, special care around my hairline to blend it in nicely. And I've been so pleased with both of these and just the natural subtle color that I'm getting. So I'm hoping that I can make both of these bottles last till the end of the summer. If you want a little color to your face, but you don't want to fully commit to the upkeep that comes with sunless tanning, I have two recommendations. The first is the RMS Cream Bronzer. And I like to apply this with my fingertips and then I'll take the Real Techniques Buffing Brush to blend this out. And it blends out so easily. And I just think the color is very flattering. And then one of my all time favorite blushes is from NARS. And this is the blush in Lovejoy. And it looks very dark in the pan, but it is incredibly flattering. What I like so much about this color is that it only almost acts like your blush and bronzer in one and then it also has some subtle shimmer so it catches the light like a highlighter would so this is such a great product to grab for quickly in the morning and I use a large blush brush to apply it and this is one that I think is beautiful year-round but I have been reaching for it a lot lately so that wraps up my summer essentials and I hope these videos were helpful to you and that maybe you got some ideas thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new video mm -hmm.